Okay, we have the Ten of Cups. Usually like a an invitation to keep fighting with somebody. Nine of Wands. And so definitely like keeping fighting if you think about the type, typical Nine of Wands. Okay, let's get one more. Oh, there. Try to pull, pull over. The page page of wands okay bottom of the deck is the five of swords Eek. it's usually a deceptive partner all right so let's get the regular meanings and i don't usually combine these together because they're just sometimes i go together but i don't read them in pairs like typical tarot or lenormand for instance we have no major arcana so that's something Oh crap, I can't read in Spanish. What the fuck? Okay. Or maybe it's Italian. I don't know. Okay, so with the Ten of Cups, what we have here is compromising one success. So again, somebody may have been doing well, and then they made a decision to relapse. But there's this invitation to still fight. So somebody may say, like, you know, let's keep going. Let's keep fighting the addiction. With the, what is it, Nine of Wands. Okay. So with the Nine of Wands, guys, I'm seeing... There is a good situation going on, but it says to watch your back. Somebody should be defensive and vigilant. So for some people, this could be somebody's going to try and coerce you, okay? Or manipulate you. And it just it's just to use you, Okay. Some of you, that could be you doing this. And so I feel like when it comes to that career, for instance, it's a good situation. Watch your back, you know, because you may, somebody may try to coerce you to get a, to do this, to get a job. Or if you do this, you may emotionally harm yourself. Then we also have the idea of the self-esteem, which again, you could emotionally harm yourself by doing things like this. Then we have the page of wands. This says, you're probably gonna have perfect sexual harmony between two, well, between you and someone else, or there's gonna be perfect sexual harmony with two lovers. Um, but it says there's no abuse of power by the man who harmlessly holds the sword. This is not even a sword, it's, or does he have a sword? He does have a sword. See that? Yeah, I didn't even notice that. Hmm. So I don't think somebody's trying to harm somebody. Perhaps that's an epiphany. Because um, there are times where um, if somebody, you know, if you're really like, um, let's say, I don't say this, if you're compatible with somebody sexually, but maybe it's, you don't know this until later on. Like say, in the past, you've had possibly abusive sexual relationships and you get to be with somebody for the first time who's not abusive. They can still throw it down like anybody else <laughs> or like nobody else, maybe. But that could be an epiphany like, wow, you know, this person's going to respect boundaries because he doesn't think I should. He thinks I should have these boundaries or something like that. I'm using he just because it's the opposite sex of me. OK, so. That's pretty cool. Maybe you have an emotional epiphany through sex. Like, wow, this person might actually care about me or I might actually care about them. That'd be, that'd be a good thing. <laughs> they may, you know, there's a, there's a possibility somebody could deny sex that you've already had sex with or, you know, vice versa, maybe. Okay, now we have the five of swords, which I'm a little worried about. So let's see what that says. Okay. So with the five of swords, talks about oh overturning a situation and confronting risks so i feel like somebody's going to try and push some limits that could definitely be some sexual harmony like maybe you guys are more um able to read each other's movement or minds whatever it is and at least sexually and it says overturning a situation so somebody may I feel 
you're, there is going to be something for the better here. It may start out manipulative and terrible, even though the person doesn't know it. <laughs> but it's confronting risks. Um, just be careful because if you're confronting a limit, that may be that limit may be there for a reason. Okay, um, and if you go past that limit and it's the wrong decision, I mean, all you can do is say "oops." And if it has a profound emotional effect, well, you know, you're pretty much fucked, literally and figuratively. So just be careful when it comes to limits um, sexually. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. Moon reversed. Two of Wands. Let's get one more card for the other side of the Two of Wands. Oh, okay. Judgment. I mean, judgment and the moon reversed. That's like the fucking epiphany of the whole deck. Okay. Bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles reversed. Say what? That's way too boring to be in here. Okay. I don't know why he's here. He must be the person. I mean, it's a court card, but usually when they're in reverse, they're not always, always people. But let's stick with this first. Two major arcana. Okay. Arcana, arcana. Who cares? So we have, if you control your emotions, it'll write the situation in your favor. That's advice. It also talks about not taking risks while facing fears. Okay. Because <laughs> I, I feel like somebody's not really emotionally stable. And so you're trying to face fears, but at the same time, you should not be taking risks because you're because you're not seeing clearly. I'm seeing like you're you're really dealing, or somebody's dealing, maybe a Pisces, with their shadow self, their devil self. And if this reading is has a card that I can just envision, it's the devil. Okay, because that's addiction and sex and whatnot. Um, and again, I'm seeing kind of like a lack of awareness, or there was a lack of awareness, and somebody becomes aware. It could be a manipulation, epiphany, whatever it is. Okay, I'm going to skip to judgment. So with judgment here, I feel like facing things realistically, like realizing I have to have a boundary on something. Um, hopefully a boundary is not crossed and that's how you get the boundary. You know what I mean? You want to actually have these things thought of ahead of time. Okay, so I'm feeling like innocence here. So we kind of have a choice between like uh, being innocent and then like having an epiphany. So it's like lack of knowledge, innocence, kind of previous lack of knowledge, but then gaining knowledge. Okay. So I feel like we're both still kind of here. We have good judgment and not so good judgment, but it's like not so good judgment that gets changed. So either way, you're going to end up with changing of judgment or the person you're with will. So this is a good thing. Uh, okay. I feel like this is, you have to bridge this gap in knowledge and there's going to be some kind of a resolution or a healing to something. This also says, don't forget whatever this epiphany is, whether somebody's crossing a boundary or not, don't forget. So you don't repeat it again. Okay. Because this is like a definite new awareness. Like for just information was released to you. And also it's called like emotional clearing. So very good to see. It may be that somebody has to fall off the bandwagon to realize why they got off of it in the first or why they got on it in the first place. Uh, and then they just have to wipe the slate clean. Like, okay, you know, that was it. I know why. I'm not going to go back anymore. Let's see, somebody's trying to raise it from the dead, but they're not. They're going to leave it dead after this one relapse kind of a thing. And the thing is, you shape your own reality with your thoughts. Um, and that's what is also here as well. And I feel like somebody's no longer going to be of two minds anymore. They were. That's definitely here, but they won't be. They're going to realize, oh, you know, that's not my crowd anymore. Or that's not my scene anymore. I don't, I don't do that. And I can see why. So again, control your emotions, control the cravings, whatever it is, and everything will write in your favor. 
Because what I'm seeing is you guys are going to make a judgment that because this is more characteristics, that this is a perverse, okay, um, and corrupt, and it leads to peril. And you've been down that road before, it looks like. So it's almost as if saying, been there, done that, boring, okay? It's like, I'd rather be bored than do something unethically, because this talks about reaching a goal unethically. So just be careful, because it's a vice, it's a weakness, I feel like somebody's going to drop the bad habit, but it's it's going to take a little bit. This could be a boss, some kind of official person, because I have a corrupt official. So if it's not you, this person's dealing with it. Um, they're very non-traditional. Ooh, um, and talks about you're going to miss your path if you continue down this road. It's 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 peril. Okay. All right. So this definitely goes with their other, other reading. All right, let's do another quick one. I'll use a stick. So, because you guys are getting a ton of readings. Right. What's another scenario that Aquarians are going to encounter? Okay. Lovers reversed. Sex only. Shit. The fool having a new start. I like that. But still non-traditional. One more card. Mm, three major arcana. What the fuck? Okay, what I'm seeing is some of you may be with the one. Okay. Some of you aren't even seeking the one. You're like, I'm a free bird. I'm not traditional. I'm based on sex only. And that's what I'm manifesting. Um, but some of you are at the trust that this sex only kind of deal is not the right path. You're going to have to trust it and manifest something different. Oh, okay. Mm. I also feel like you're going to notice your emotions are going to bl blind you to what you have and it's going to cost you. Whatever that's about could be about the same thing. I'm seeing somebody doesn't think they're with the ideal partner and they may want to have a different start. I see people taking risks and facing life, so they should do it realistically. Um, but I'm seeing your choices, especially bad choices based on sex, it affects you and affects other people. It's not just you. And again, I'm seeing somebody's going after something for freedom, liberation, self-esteem. It's all just repeating itself, guys. Um, and again, your enlightenment or your epiphany is going to seem foolish to the outside people. And it, it could be that the epiphany is something that is foolish. Okay. Um, cause if somebody has to get hurt or there's no limits, then there is something wrong that needs to be fixed. And here we are having somebody needed to fix something. But again, you, you manifest, you shape your reality. Okay. I think you have to face some kind of a conflicting belief and somebody wants to be carefree. I see somebody's trying to avoid some consequences. I'm seeing like failure and foolish plans. I gotta see somebody's making foolish plans for themselves. Hmm. It's almost as if somebody's, we have sexual addiction, so it's like, uh, they're immature romantically and sexually. And so they just get into these destructive relationships. And they're doing this all themselves. I see for fem feminine energies here that they're seeking like some kind of a hero. Um, when really it's just like evil incarnate. And then the male energies are seeking a heroine for security, but then they end up reducing the person to a toy, an object, um, some kind of an obstacle, or it's more of a burden than it is energizing. And so the passion can wane in that re regard. This says you have to deal with, with this inner force or this inner desire for what it is. You cannot evade it or deny it, although that's what's happening. You have to face it. Hmm. This is you have to work on your best self, on being your best self. And again, I'm seeing the idea of like balancing emotions and will. Now, this is supposed to be the fool reborn. I mean, this is the fool and this is supposed to be the fool reborn. So I'm hoping that you actually manifest 
a new beginning and not continue on the same path. I'm hoping that's what that's about. I feel like it is though, okay? I feel like some of you are turning over a new leaf or you're going back onto the same leaf that you accidentally got off of or purposely got off of because I feel like this is saying right direction. So, but the fool again is facing the wrong one. So really it's up to you. It's your choice. Some of you want to manifest the wrong direction, okay? And some of you are going towards the wrong direction because you're trying to evade the right path. Bottom of the deck, another major arcana. Wow the world. It says incorporate um, the outside view into yourself. Okay. Cause this is expanding you and maturing you. Um, so I'll get like the idea of having um, an education um, using the outside view. This says you can be free in limitations as well as without. Okay. So some of you may discover limits are freeing. And I feel like you guys may have some kind of a guilty conscience and you don't want it anymore. So you are going to go towards the right path. And I think that's a good thing. So I'm getting lots of new beginnings here that are available should you choose. And the magician here says anything is possible. Really, it is. So leave the destruction behind. Maturing is not boring, okay? <sighs> you can have sparks and all that because this is the achievement of the goal of the star. And the star is sparks and, you know voluptuous women and vulnerability and all of these things. And I'm starting to wonder, because this is, this is also achievement and success and satisfaction. So you're still going to get it. But what I feel like is going on here, if I can get my train of thought again. Sorry, hold on. Oh, it was right there. Yes. Okay. So I feel like some of you, the epiphany is going to be, or whomever you're dealing with, is that Sometimes emotional vulnerability is maybe just as intoxicating as some kind of a sexual um, invitation or seduction. Okay. Some people may not know, know that or use that because there is like an unhealthy lack of emotion at the beginning of the readings. So perhaps that's epiphany. And I hope that is because that would be a really good epiphany to have. All right, let's get a message for you Aquarians because... The readings just repeated themselves. So somebody must have really needed this. I couldn't get in hardly anything different. We have entrepreneur. Okay, so we have self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. So some of you may be turning down an invitation for sex for a job. Focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds, your every, feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. New partner. A chance meeting is no mistake. It is divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life. You will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. Okay. Next one is ask. Ask us to help you in this situation, and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws, and among them is the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So we patiently await your request. Oh, two more. Cleanse and detoxify. With great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress, as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways. Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. And these look like orange lilies, don't they? Okay, oh, what do you desire? That's the question you have to ask yourself. You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, They'll rush into your life 
as if by magic. <laughs> <laughs>